Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Let me know how things sound. I messed with my mic settings a little bit because I wanted to get it to sound a little bit more like normal. Or I guess not normal, but like less abrasive sounding. So hopefully it sounds pretty decent. Hopefully it sounds okay. Let me know if at any point it gets to a point where like you can't hear me because I messed around with the gain on the microphone quite a bit. I lowered the gain on the mic itself and uh, raised it on, what's it called? Raised it on OBS, so we will see how it ends up sounding. But I figured we got one more day before early access, so let's just, let's just get into some grinding and see if we can snag a great one before then. That would be absolutely amazing. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Are dusky black bear rare because I got a diamond dusky? No, they're not rare, but I mean any diamond bear is gonna be a somewhat hard thing to find. Congrats. That is awesome. One in the background, of course. Of course, man. That's just how it be. There's always one that ends up getting away. Hey, Reflex, how's it going? Um, Ian, thank you for the one month, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing, man. 240, nice, nice. Oh, uh, what do you mean, Adam? Hey, okay, nothing over there. Was at the zoo earlier today and my sister dropped her phone between a fence and an enclosure and got stuck down there. Ooh, that is rough, dude. That is rough. I couldn't imagine just like dropping my phone like a down in, in an unretrievable location. It's a good thing that they were able to get it out because that, that's crazy. That would have sucked to just like lose your phone to that. <laughs> like, holy. That would have sucked. All right, so we're currently at 687 uh, white-tailed deer. No, Adam, it's not a bear stream. It's just a grinding stream in general. We might do bears. I'm not sure as of now. We will find out as the day progresses, though. Depends on how I feel, really. Well, happy birthday, Mike. Only thing worse is the crack between the car seats. Yeah, losing your phone between car seats is always like, ah, oh, gosh, where is it? How, how did I do that? Ah, oh, gosh, will I ever get it back? So I agree. Hey! What? What did I just watch? I'm confused now, man. I'm confused now. No, Jesse, we haven't. We're at 8,000 kills now on the bear grind, and we've never got one. 8,000 kills and no great one bear. 155. Okay, that one died up there. Go get this guy first. Got me scared for a sec, thought you got it. Nope, just some weird aquatic deer, you know. <laughs> Nothing too crazy, just aquatic deer. Just uh, average everyday things. Oh man, yeah, you hate to see it. Oh, let me adjust one more thing on my microphone. Gonna raise it by one little notch. Let's see, is that uh, does that sound any different? I barely tweaked it. Well, we'll see. I guess I don't think it's gonna change anything, but. It should make it so I don't peek down too low. Yes, definitely aquatic deer. Love them. Love the aquatic deer. It sounds quieter. It definitely doesn't, Zacky, because I just raised it instead of lowering it. Just a bit louder? Okay, that makes sense. The thing is, it's also kind of hard to tell because I do have... Um, 
pretty high compression, so it kind of evens evens uh, volumes out a bit. Like anytime I yell, it'll kind of bring it down. Anytime I talk quiet, it'll bring it up. And it makes it so it's kind of like all even, I guess. Best way to describe it. That's what... Man, if she hadn't pushed him out of the way, I could have got him. Because that was a stupid deer. That was a stupid deer, man. Can't wait till Australia comes out. Is it DLC? Yes, it is DLC. All maps will always be DLC because without making them DLC, they wouldn't be able to afford to make more maps for the game. So, yes, all maps are DLC. Mackenzie, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. Got my albino lion at 200 kills. Very lucky. Nice. That's awesome. Gotta love it. Yeah, those uh, those albino lions are insanely rare. Not too often that you get one before a few hundred kills. You would have to be like the most lucky person in the world. Is Rancho still kicking people off the game? No, it's not. Rancho doesn't have the crashing bugs it used to. However, if you're playing multiplayer, all maps, uh, <laughs> you get booted off all maps just because multiplayer is rough. No, I've never got a fabled piebald great one, unfortunately. I wish I would have been able to, but as of now, we don't have one of those. Hey, there's a buck there. I'm going to assume we got him. I don't know, though. What is my top five maps to whitetail grind on? Ah, uh, well, there's not five maps that have whitetail. There is three maps or four maps that have whitetail. So I would say my top is Layton. Number two would be Revon Tuli. Number three, Rancho. Number four, Mississippi. I haven't decided, Zaki. It depends on how the whitetail grinding goes. Just discovered a zone with an albino level 7 lion. Nice, nice. Oh, New England. That's right, New England. There is New England, but let's be honest. I didn't even consider New England because nobody, nobody remembers New England exists. To be honest, I wouldn't even, like, add Mississippi or New England to the top five. They're just not worth adding for Whitetail. So yeah, I'd say my top three, I'll do a top three. It's uh, Layton, Rev, Rancho, and I had one bullet. Lovely. I had one bullet. They're calling the next one's a fabled piebald with typical rack. I mean, that'd be crazy. That would be pretty wild. The question is, could we be that lucky since we've never even seen a regular typical rack? Uh, yeah, Johnny, I can probably do that. I'll just pull it up on my phone. I haven't really been checking everything the last few days. Been basically non-stop go, 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 go. Um, sure, Johnny. I I can do that. Give you some zone tips. Uh, well, uh, that is very vague. What type of zone tips do you want, Caleb? Like, what species, what map, what type of zone, what type of zone tips are you looking for? Like, I need more info to go off of if I'm if I'm going to be giving tips. Because each situation will require different tips, you know? All right, that one's getting away, apparently. Yeah.
Yeah, that's right. You're not running from me. I don't care if I messed you up if you're potentially a diamond. You're not getting away. Got my first great one yesterday. Nice, Logan. Nice. Hey, Nathan. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. Two forty nine. You get those uh, not diamonds out of my face. All right, we got both of the shootables there. I was 0 to 150. He was 337 away. I aimed above his back, at the top of his back, and it went above him. My brain is moving a million miles an hour right now. I, I'm not sure what just happened. Like, I can see why we messed up the first year, but the second one, it went over it? Did it go over it, or did it just look that way? Either way, that, that threw me off. Some of my some of my zones have males, and after some kills, only have females. Why is this happening? Now, oh, they've just moved. You got to go to different zones to find them, then. They've just moved, if that's the case. Staying up until we get three more great ones? I wish I could, but I can't. I'm only going to be able to stream for like three hours today. Because I've got a video scheduled for 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I wanted to post it earlier today, but just couldn't get it to finish processing in time. Because YouTube likes to take 10 years for that nowadays. I don't know why YouTube all of a sudden started taking longer to process videos. But, like, recently, it's been usually one to two hours to process a video. And before, it used to be, like, 20 minutes. Maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. It's really weird. All of a sudden, they want to take 10 years to process videos. And so then, half the time, I, I can't get everything finished and uploaded and processed in time to get it live at its normal time. So if you guys were curious why some videos have been going live at 6 p.m., that's why. YouTube has just been absolutely terrible with processing videos quickly. How long is the first early access video? If you can tell, if you can tell, yeah, I can talk about like length of the video because that doesn't reveal anything about the reserve. My first episode of the early access is going to be 58 minutes long because I wanted to show everything I could in one video. That way everybody's just got a one-stop shop for all of the stuff with the uh, new update or new reserve, I should say. And so, and also I figured not many people watch early access anyway. So those that would complain about a long video like that, they're probably not even watching. They're probably not even watching Early Access to begin with. And I figure most of the people that do want to see Early Access want as much as they can. And then anybody that isn't uh, into those types of videos is probably going to be waiting for the full release anyway. With Early Access, I figure more is better. But my gosh, it took so long to make that video. It took two days to record it. It took three to four hours to edit it. And it took over, I think, 10 hours to upload and process the video. So I'm just, I'm just hoping that you guys enjoy it because it took so much time to make. We'll see though. We'll see. It's a. I, I think it's a good video. I think it's gonna turn out really well. 
Holy Geese, it says thank you so much for becoming a member once again. Welcome back. And Nicholas, are you doing a live tomorrow on the new map? Yes, I will be. 100%. Gonna be doing a big stream tomorrow. Thank you uh, once again, Nicholas. Really appreciate the support. Hey, Billy, how's it going? How's it going, Mr. Billy? Seven oh one kills now. Holy. You know, I just thought of something. The uh, changes I made to my mic settings, they're not going to really be apparent if you watch on a phone. Like, if you watch on mobile, it's probably not going to be very apparent the changes that I made. Um, if you're wearing headset, wearing a headset right now and listening to the stream, uh, does my voice sound quieter than normal? Does it sound louder, the same? Does it sound more clear? Does it sound less clear? Let me know so I can tweak things if need be. I definitely feel like it's slightly quieter because it's not peaking on the meter as much. It's not peaking nearly as much. And I also feel like there's not as much like aggressive harshness with the S's and P's, like the S and P words. Because usually if you say a word that begins with S, like it'll have like a sharp like S, like that'll kind of pierce the ears. And I think I got rid of that for the most part. Sounds the same, same, didn't notice. I watched on a potato. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, might do bears, not sure, Skull, not sure. Oh gosh, Zach, feels bad, man. Well, hopefully you'll be able to just enjoy the stream and watch some deer get smoked and have a good old time. Gotcha, Nicholas. Okay. Awesome. Don't know if it's quieter, just more balanced. Got you. Okay. That's a good thing. I'd say that's a good thing. I've just had it to where it's like peaking on the meter so often for the longest time that I it, it, it just feels like I'm quieter when I don't see it going into the red as much. But maybe it'll sound better. Maybe it'll be better in the long run. Let me know if I need to lower the music volume, though. Because now that my voice is, like, slightly quieter, the music might be too loud. I don't know yet. You know, this is a, this is a feeling it out type of learning situation. We're going to see what works. More crisp? Got you. Okay, that's kind of what I was aiming for. So it's good that that's the way it's coming off. More balanced and crisp is definitely what I wanted to hear. You know when Whitetail's gonna get a reset? Probably not anytime soon, Brayden. They have not talked about Whitetail getting any resets whatsoever. So I don't think there will be one. No respawns there, so I'm assuming we're just gonna have the one we missed at the other spot. That's what happens when you miss a few. No, Ross. We haven't been doing much uh, Great One grinding because of early access for the new map. I've been recording early access footage for the last week or so. So I haven't had time to I haven't had the time to grind for 40 great ones. Where did I find my music? Uh, all my music comes from Epidemic Sound. It's a paid monthly membership thing where essentially you pay monthly to have them not copyright your videos when you use their music. It's a good service though. They have a very huge selection of music. It's awesome. My God, thank you so much for the super chat. Thoughts on the sandbar? I thought they'd be bigger. Uh, from what we saw in the last EW stream, I think they're good. 
I mean, obviously, we need to wait and see a lot more before I can make a final decision. But, uh... You guys will know soon enough, like, my full thoughts on things. Thank you for the super chat once again, though. Much appreciated. Did you help your brother for the great one? What do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> Gnet, thank you so much for the super chat. Will there be albino, mela, or piebald kangaroos? No clue. No clue as of now. We will find out at some point, I'm sure. But as always, anything that hasn't been shown off, I can't even talk about, so... Thank you for the super chat, though. Yeah, it kind of surprised me too, Billy. I was very surprised by that. I thought that they would be different. I thought the Sambar would be a higher class than the Rusa. I was really hoping that Rusa would have been class 4, but... They decided to go with 6, which is definitely interesting. One doe. Where's the bucks, though? Zevin, thank you for the 11 months, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Almost hitting that one-year mark, man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I couldn't help Johnny uh, with anything, even if I wanted to. Because he is a console player and I'm a PC player, so... Are you talking about that YouTube short I did a while back where I was like, I'm over at his house and he spawned a great one. No, he plays, he does all of his grinding and stuff on his own. Uh, to be honest, even if we played on the same platform, I would not have enough time to help somebody else grind. I already do a ton of grinds myself and I don't have time to do others. Like doing all these great one grinds that we do here on the channel, this takes up all my day. This combined with the other types of video content that I do and like parenting and stuff, like I my day is completely filled between those three things. Grinding, making videos and other uh, hunting styles and parenting. It's all it's all my time right there. Boom. <laughs> hey Con, how's it going? Come on, great one, where are you? We haven't seen a great one in a bit. I mean, it's primarily because I haven't been able to grind the last couple days, but... I'm itching for a great one. Just found an albino springbok. Nice, that's awesome. Just in time, too, because springbok are getting true racks, so. That's awesome. Always cool to get a legacy right before the uh, true racks pop in. Nice toaster, that's awesome. Am I excited for Fallow Great One? I'm super excited. It's probably what I'm most excited for, to be honest. Do it, Billy, I believe. I believe in you. Manifest that great one right in front of us. Uh, typical rack, please. How do you check how many kills you have into your grind? Uh, you have to keep track of it yourself, uh, Ross. No way to check how many kills you are into a grind if you have not been keeping track of it yourself. I keep all of my grinds, like, wrote down and I use a clicker counter app on my phone to count the amount of kills that I get every time I get a kill I press the plus button and then when I'm done grinding for the day I add it to my total on my uh, text file oh 
of course he would stop behind the ones because you know why would he give us a shot eh he wouldn't Oof, not even worth chasing. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Sean, thank you for the super chat, dude. Been enjoying the grinds for a while. Keep it up. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Hey, Chip, how's it going? How's it going? Hope you're doing good. Hope you've been having a good time. And I hope you're excited for all the early access stuff coming out tomorrow. Things are going to get wild. Things are bad to get wild. I was just telling everybody that uh, the video that I got planned for tomorrow is 58 minutes long. Took two days to record, like three and a half hours to edit, and like seven hours or so to upload and process on YouTube. <laughs> so, <laughs> plenty plenty of content the first day <laughs> and I'm gonna be doing probably like a 10 to 12 hour stream if I can things are about to get crazy tomorrow like absolutely crazy no respawns there either man wow okay Yeah, doing the best I can, Chip. I've got, I think, four videos recorded. One is fully edited and ready to go, ready to upload tomorrow. Or I guess ready to go live tomorrow. And then I still got to edit the others. I'll probably work on that later today. Do you keep your early, early access progress? Nope, nothing in early access will stay. So whenever uh, early access ends, I will have to unlock everything on the map again and uh, just go through everything. Everything Australia will have to be done again for me. But it's fine, you know? I prefer that anyway. Thank you, Evan. I appreciate that. Just ready to square up with an aggressive kangaroo. I know, right? I'm excited for that. I remember the second Jaxie mentioned that they could attack, I was like, are you kidding me? This is going to be the greatest thing ever. Video will go live at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Tomorrow's video goes live at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I always got to make sure that I clarify that it's Pacific Standard Time. That way, nobody gets confused when it's not up at Eastern time and it's up at because like if you're on the East Coast it's gonna be three hours later than if it is on the uh, West Coast right so 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time remember when you got early access that one time and got a rare albino and could not keep it oh yeah that was sad I think I know which one you're talking about. I, I imagine you're referring to the coyote. Yeah, I was so sad about that. Uh, that was the saddest thing ever. Of course, Walking Dead edits. Why would I post it at 12.01 a.m.? That'd be like an hour and one minute too late, King Charles. <laughs> There we go. Hey, Mr. Lazy, how's it going, dude? Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing super great. Hey, Kenneth, I'm doing good. Doing very, very well. Just grinding away.
Um, maybe, Billy. I haven't really took time to, like, think of it. Maybe. Gosh, no respawns still. What's going on? Our respawns are all kinds of borked, man. They're having, they're having problems. Yeah, nothing. We're having some problems with respawns already, so this is going to kill our hourly kill count for sure. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Oh, hey! We got respawns here, though. That's good. One, that is. Just one respawn, but... You know it is what it is. It's better than nothing. These deer are not cooperating right now, though. Yeah, true, Billy, true. Which ones do we know of on Australia that are aggressive? Obviously, we know kangaroos are. And I imagine Bantang, because I didn't Flinter get attacked by one in that, uh, in his little EW video? And then the Crocs. So, yeah, I think that's three. Yeah, it's just three. So you're right. Yukon might have slightly more. But the thing is, do we even count grizzly bears being aggressive? Because you have to get really close to get them to attack you. Like, you have to get right up in their face. And essentially go unnoticed until they get to, like, 20 meters, and then they might attack you. So I don't even know if I count that. Well, will death be aggressive? Probably. I mean, I'd, I'd want it no other way. Don't feral pigs go aggressive? Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right, they do. Feral pigs go aggressive more often than bears do. I'd say Australia's got to be like the most aggressive map to hunt on then, right? Because crocs, bantang, ruse, feral pigs. So it's got the same amount of animals that can go aggressive as Yukon. But I think because the bears on Yukon don't go aggressive as much as pigs do... I'd say we got to give it to Australia. Oh, no. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, no, Chip. That's the worst. That is the worst, man. Ma'am. I apologize. I didn't know you were going to move your head a little bit. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it. I don't believe so, B Weaver. That was because Jaxie was, uh, Jaxie was using, like, dev tools to make it do that. So I don't think they actually can. I don't think foxes go aggressive. I'm pretty sure he was using dev tools during that stream. To make it go aggressive because he just wanted to showcase the animation for the moose. You telling me that that second one was not vitals, but the first was? Could you imagine, Zaki? That'd be terrible, man. That'd be awful. I'm just not in the groove right now either because I haven't grinded in a few days. I need to get back in the grinding groove. Uh, 
Uh, because the 308 fires faster and is powerful enough to drop them, Wesley. So I don't have a reason to use the 7 mil. Not for grinding Whitetail, at least. The bolt action 7 millimeter takes longer to fire, so you can usually only kill one deer, maybe two at most in your zones, but it's rare to get two. 308 allows me to kill at least two deer in every zone. With obviously some exceptions. Ah, uh, cause the M1 has weird recoil, Xander. I don't like the recoil of the M1. And I just prefer AR platforms anyway. In the game and in real life. Oh, he did, Zacky? Holy. Man, you know how much it pains me to hear somebody is saying he killed one of his bears. Ouch. <laughs> I don't even have a bear, man. <laughs> I guess whitetail were just meant to be my animal. <laughs> Maybe fallow deer will be our animal next, hopefully. That'd be nice. I'd like to I'd like to be like the fallow master. Probably not going to happen though. Cuz I buy already knows uh he knows fallow deer, right? Like he's grinded for super rare fallow before, so I think I buy will be the fallow master. You have an updated version to the red deer grind on Tiabaroa? No, I don't, Justin, because I haven't grinded them recently, so I, I don't want to make a guide on them if I haven't actually hunted them. Um, I try not to make any guides unless I'm actively grinding the species, because I feel like if I'm not grinding for them, then I don't have enough knowledge to be making a, a guide on them. At this point, we kind of understand that everybody's zones are a little bit different, so making a zone guide doesn't really uh, make as much sense as it used to. So in order to make a new guide, I need to include like all the tips to help the grind go good, and if I'm not grinding for them, I can't really do that. It'll be a long time. It'll be a long time before we go back to red deer. We're going to have tons of fallow deer ahead, and we're also going to be going for the bear after we get some fallow deer, so... It's going to be a bit before we do red deer. I probably will return at some point just because they redid the uh, fur types. But it won't be anytime super soon. Wow, Chip, that's... <laughs> that is... Oh my... Oh my. <laughs> what a pun. How many kills into the whitetail grind? Um, let me, ch let me check. Sorry, I'm still recovering from that pun that chip dropped. That chip dropped. Oh my gosh. Uh, 723. We're currently at 723. <laughs> Is New Zealand going to be the meta or the map for fallow grinding? I think it probably will. Obviously, I can't give any, like, uh, I can't say how I feel about it on Australia. But just because of how overpowered Tiabaroa is, I don't see any map ever topping Tiabaroa for fallow. It's just so well laid out for grinding. I, I think Tiabaroa will probably end up being the top map still. But we haven't really seen what Australia has to offer, so who knows? It could uh, it could change, but I really feel like Tiabaro is unbeatable, no matter what they do. Really feel like it's just miles above everything else. No respawn. Okay, we're uh, we're unfortunately getting some issues with respawns today. That is terrible, man. Unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Hey Chris, how's it going? You have every great one in the game! No I don't, I'm missing the bear. The bear has eluded me. I don't get the- I don't get the reference, Toaster. I don't get the reference. Yeah, I'm kinda sad about the lack of water buffalo as well. I do feel like that's a major missed opportunity. 
Because, I mean, we only have one map for water buffalo, and Australia is known for them. It definitely does seem weird to me that they didn't add them on there. Oh, no worries, Billy. No worries. Uh, of course, uh, the trash athlete. Of course I will. Under 11. Thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Got my fifth great one, Whitetail, at 3,496 kills. Jeez, dude. That's honestly... That's pretty unlucky that it took that long, man. But glad you got your fifth. Congrats, dude. Congrats. Oh, there we go. There's a buck. Can I get up? Can I get up? Can I get up? There we go. I never said I was a parkour master, so... That's my excuse for not being able to jump in a stand. Oh, you're talking about my white tail. That's normal for me, though. I'll have a bunch of good runs and then a few bad runs. They always uh, start to kind of like go back to normal, though. I think part of it is because we just got rid of a, a zone in our grind. And less deer being shot is always going to make respawns act different with Whitetail. That's always been a thing for me. In fact, I need to probably introduce a new zone into the grind anyway. Where is... There it is. There we go. 215. Beautiful. Now let's see what the damage is like. What happened over here? Did we kill this zone? I mean, we wouldn't have killed the zone, but did that dope respawn here? Or did she ruin another herd? Gonna need to reset first. Please, please, please tell me this zone is okay. They're not even here. Okay, we need to keep resetting till they show up. Oh, that'd be wild, Johnny. That'd be cool. There's five deer. Buck, buck, buck. Gosh. Wait. And, but there's still three does. But we got three bucks. What? Did it create a new herd? Oh, no. Did it create a new herd? I'm confused. So I'm not going to shoot all three of these bucks. Oh. <laughs> I didn't do that, I promise. I didn't shoot it with the 22. I, I promise. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's wild, though. We randomly got a new buck here because I killed a doe? Six? Oh, okay. Well then. That was wild. That might be the first time where shooting a doe didn't destroy a zone and it made the zone better. All the wild works in weird and mysterious ways. Also, I shot that buck with a truncated cone bullet, so it's probably going to die. That thing's probably going to die. <laughs> oh, the poor deer. Holy duck coming in with the uh, membership. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Up we go. Let's see. Now, hopefully we didn't lose a buck from another zone. I mean, there's only one here, so that's a little concerning. But at the same time, could just be that they didn't all respawn. There we go. Oh, 
No respawns. Feels bad. Yeah, I think we're going to have to introduce one more zone into the grind. The question is what zone? I don't know. Uh, Bladen, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. Or super sticker. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. Well, now we got a buck there. Level three. Hopefully this will be our first diamond of the day. Will I ever grind Rev? Maybe one of these days, but not anytime soon because we got a ton of other grinds coming up like the fallow grind. We got the fallow grind. Uh, we'll probably do more bear grinding. So we got a lot of stuff ahead of us. What does the animal and number mean when you examine a zone? So the number is how many uh, how many animals are actually in that zone. And then in terms of Gosh, that was bad. Still warming up for the day. Okay, we we picked it up. Uh, but yes, the amount it's the uh, type of animal and the amount of deer that are in that zone. That's what it means. And it can actually be a very useful tool as well. Like if you uh, if you see a herd of like ten. There's a chance it could be two herds of five instead, so going up and examining those tracks can tell you whether or not it is a herd of ten or if it's two herds of five. So it's actually a very useful tool to uh, use to your advantage. Holy Nathan, how's it going? Um, I mean, I personally don't shoot the rare does when they pop up, uh, Lucan. I just leave them. And then I usually just give them names and just have them as a pet. Hey, there's a nice three. Beautiful. Oof. Our aim is just not on point today. What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? The rust is just, it's, it's accumulating from not grinding for a few days. All that early access recording has like, it's made me suck at shooting. Cause I'm not doing these daily grinds. <laughs> Boom, that's a diamond. Beautiful. You suck at getting great ones? I mean, there's no such thing as like sucking at getting great ones or a specific trophy because I mean, at the end of the day with great ones, it's all up to luck, so all you can really do is just put in the time to shoot as many of that animal as you can. I don't think anybody can suck at getting a great one because it's not a matter of like getting better at getting them. It's just a matter of getting lucky, right? So nobody's really bad at getting great ones. Some people just put more time into hunting for them. We have four bucks here. Okay, all the respawns are flowing in now. My gosh, we actually we actually hit that shot. I thought I was going to miss all of them, including the one that wasn't moving. Nice, Brantley, nice. Hey, Pike, how's it going? You haven't missed anything too crazy. 
Just lots of bad aim, but you know, that's pretty normal. I think we're used to seeing that every stream. What level Fallow would you uh, leave for HM? I believe you would leave twos and below. If I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, come on, Nate. You can't tell me you didn't do that on purpose. Uh, you you were trying to make a bear pun and it just didn't land. I'm calling it. That that was a that was a failed bear pun, hundred <laughs> percent. Great one, Roosevelt elk or Rocky elk. Ooh, that's a tough decision. Cause both would be great. If I could only choose one, I would choose Rocky Elk just because I like Silver Ridge Peaks better and they're bigger. So I think they'd be just crazy. Autocorrected to Bear. Of course it would. Of course it would. What else would it do, man? Uh, nothing so far, Capto. Yeah, apparently, Johnny. That's kind of what I was thinking, too. Holy! The respawns are working! That is what we love to see, man. Decent couple bucks there. Okay, they both died. Nice. You did, Johnny? My gosh. <laughs> My gosh. You see, I'll probably never hit 36 million because I reset the time too much. I do so many time resets, I don't think I'll ever reach 36 mil. <laughs> That's crazy. My gosh, Nate. You know, you know, why did I make you moderator again? Like what 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 was what was I thinking? Of course, I, I, I should have known that I was just going to get bear puns thrown at me the whole time. <laughs> nice, smoking outdoors, that's awesome. Can I do no reaction to a great one? That's impossible. The only time I can do no reaction is if uh, my wife and daughter are fast asleep. And even then, I'm reacting, I just am not like, yelling. <laughs> There's no way I could have literally no reaction to a great one. It is physically impossible. Okay, so we're missing one buck, but that was the one that we shot last time, so... It wouldn't have respawned this quick anyway, probably. Uh, Sport Frick Pro, thank you so much for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, and all the other, or on all the scrapped uploads and all the other stuff that comes with it. Thank you so much, my dude. Do I play with other people? I mean, I play with Brobra sometimes, and, uh, my wife. Um, Nate, Tony, Caitlin, like, I have a lot of people that I play with. If you're asking if I play with viewers, I tr don't really do, like, one-on-one -on -one hunts with viewers because then other people get jealous and want me to do it with them as well, and it just makes it so half the chat's, like, arguing and jealous and wanting to be the next one to do it, so it's like, if you find me in multiplayer, then feel free to play, but I don't, like, handpick, like, viewers to go on hunts with. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I've heard of him, uh, Hunter. I've seen a couple of his YouTube shorts. Did I get it yet? No, I haven't. But I mean, we're only 56 minutes into this, so... Could definitely get something by the end of it, hopefully. Oh, that's right, we started here. I forgot, this is the first zone where we shot something. On this particular run, because I did it different than normal. Where's this stupid deer? I shouldn't have reset the time. I forgot that this was the uh, last zone we need to go to. Now his freaking deer's gone. There it is. There it is. Uh, we don't do comparisons with creators here, BK. Let's see. Do we got anything here now? Do a quick reset. Nice, Dylan. That's awesome. You love to see it, man. Diamond fallow deer look really good. And 270 is huge, by the way. That's really big for a diamond fallow. Uh, yeah, I've played with Didi before. One time. Two thirty nine, not bad, man. Two thirty nine is not bad at all. Favorite great one? My favorite great one currently is the moose, but I think Fallow's probably gonna overtake it once I've hunted them a bit. A while back I shot a pieball diamond fallow. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Hey, Andrew, how's it going? And howdy, Caitlin. Hope everybody's doing amazing. Everybody hopping on in now. I think we got two. I believe we did. What is my favorite animal in real life? I mean, it depends, right? If we're talking pets, a cat. If we're talking like farm animals, right? It'd be a chicken. If we're talking like game animals to hunt, red deer, definitely. If we're talking like spiders, none of them. Uh, if we're talking like, uh, you know, snakes, then probably like the rubber boas. Those things are cool. You know, it depends on what we're talking about here. Oh, that'll definitely happen, Travis, for sure. For sure. What are the chances of finding an ultra rare? Nobody knows the exact chance, but it seems like it's very low. Like, so low that it'll probably never happen. I think only like 10 to 15 people have ever got one. And that's out of thousands of Great One Whitetail. Poor spiders never get love? I mean, you can see why. They're spiders. They don't deserve any love. Stop turning! That was on me. That was on me. But the first two he turned. He turned, I saw it. The spooters. Oh yeah, lots of spooters. 
That reminds me, like two weeks ago, we had a spider show up. Like right above my desk, right? And I had never seen a spider like this before. Turned out to be some type of jumping spider, right? Which are like the worst kind, because they just jump on you. They just bounce away. You never know where they're going. Some of them bite and it hurts usually. Like, uh, I remember like these red jumping spiders. My brother got bit by one of those when he was like seven or something. And it's like he got bit and I immediately heard a scream and I was like, oh gosh, what bit you? And yeah, apparently those ones really hurt. But like the jumping spider that I found in here was like a really big hairy one with like a, it was like a diamond pattern on its back. At first I looked at it and I was like, is that a, is that like a black widow or something? And then I remembered black widow have like the red, if I'm not mistaken, instead of the white. But I, I Googled it and yeah, it turned out it was a jumping spider. Terrifying though. The jumping ones are good, they're friendly. Uh, not all of them. I mean, some of them are. There's some that definitely are, but like the... The bigger ones, those ones usually bite. Sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> Probably. It's a prehistoric spoder. You ever see a prehistoric spider? The size of your house. I got those in Australia. Terrible Australian accent, I know. I suck at accents, okay? I was trying to make a joke about how big the spiders are in Australia, but it didn't work. <laughs> hey, Clay, how's it going? Hope you're doing good, sir. Was an ultra rare? An ultra rare is like a great one with a rare fur type. So like a uh, albino great one white tail would be an ultra rare. That is what an ultra rare is. No spider is good, they're all evil. Hey, that's how I feel too. Spoders are evil. You know, some people hate snakes. I like snakes. I think snakes are cool. Not a fan of spiders though. Probably because like, I can see a snake, right? And if, if I need to, I can like catch a snake too. Like, if I need to move a snake, it's, you know, you just make sure that they can't move their head and whip back at you. Then you can pick them up if you're holding, like, right behind the head. I mean, the worst that's going to happen in most cases is they'll poop on you. But with a spider... I mean, let's say we get, like, a like a hobo spider. If you guys know what that what those are. um, They're like a wolf spider, but I think a little bit bigger. And they're more dangerous than a wolf spider because I, I believe they do actually have some type of uh, I don't think it's venom but like they have something in like their saliva or something that like damages the skin around the bite I don't remember exactly how it happens but like if I see a hobo spider right I'm going to be way more scared of that than I am like a snake Could just be me, though. Ground recluse are pretty bad. Yeah, they definitely are. From what I was reading, though, there's not a lot... There's not a lot of those in Oregon. And they usually seem to stay away from humans from what I was reading. But yeah, if you get bit by one... Oof. That's bad. And, like, I did... I did a little more research on some of them because I was, uh... Curious, like what I needed to avoid here, right? And like, I don't think even the Black Widows like attack that often. Like, I don't think they bite that often. I think it's more of like you put your hand on one 
and like trap them with your hand, then they'll bite you, right? But I don't think they actively seek out people to bite. As far as I could tell, at least. I am just happy that here in Oregon, we really don't have deadly spiders that much. And when we do, they're like, they're like in the eastern parts of Oregon, like where it's more desert-like. From what I understand, at least. You didn't see a level two diamond? No, I did. I think I forgot to add it to the diamond counter though. We don't tax the diamonds unless they're really big or unique because we've done herd management with whitetail for so long that we have a million diamonds. Black widows are not aggressive. Yeah, that's what I thought. You like really have to like entrap them for them to feel threatened enough to bite. Females can be? Got you. Hey, I'm just happy that for the most part, I don't have to worry about them here. Like, there's a very tiny chance that one could be found, but they're pretty rare in Oregon. Thankfully. Two thirty-nine. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wow, Ashton. Six feet long. Holy. I don't know how big they can get, but that seems pretty large. Bull snakes are like dogs. <laughs> what does that mean? Are you calling them like, uh, are, you, are you saying they're like pets? <laughs> what kind of snakes are in Oregon? We don't have a lot of dangerous snakes. I mean, we do have, um, I believe, timber rattlers, if I'm not mistaken. But that's, like, only in the really high, like, mountain ranges. And I think it's, like, very limited mountain ranges in Oregon. In terms of, like, dangerous animals, like, I guess I should say in terms of, like, venomous animals, Oregon doesn't really have many. We've got a lot of, like, other things to worry about, like mountain lions and uh, the occasional, like, angry mama black bear, which isn't really that dangerous unless they have cubs, of course. Most of the time, they're very, very docile and don't really care. But if they got cubs, then that's another problem. Or then that's another thing. But, like, mountain lions are the main thing that I have to worry about that I've always had to worry about, like, growing up and... Pretty much anywhere in Oregon. Like, there's mountain lions everywhere. They're so, so abundant. It's wild. Two ten. One seventy three. How many mountain lions have I seen? I think I've seen two or three, but I've found lots of tracks from them as well. Like I never really actively seeked out mountain lions, right? It was any encounter I had was like, usually when I was doing something else, like one time went out hunting for deer, we saw a mountain lion and I was fishing with a, uh, a friend, a friend of a family member, right? And he just, like, he whipped the truck around and, like, booked it, like, 80 miles per hour up a logging road to try and get, like, an aerial view on it so he could take it down. <laughs> that was the wildest thing I think I've ever been through in terms of, like, vehicle-related. It was crazy. He just whipped a U-turn, 
started booking it down the road, going, you know, like, between 60 and 80 up a logging road. And I was like, oh my gosh! Gets to the top, whips out the 300 Magnum, and it's gone by then. Because <laughs> he had seen it, like, off in a distant field. And so he was trying to, like, get to a point where he could actually see it. I was like, oh my gosh, dude, chill. <laughs> gotcha, reflex, yeah. Wait, hold on, I need to read that again. Uh, I don't know what you're going for about a month now. I haven't seen any. Where is for any diners? You know what I can do to try to get warriors on diamonds? Oh, yes, oh my gosh. PDK, thank you for the super chat, dude. Welcome back. There we go. Couple deer there. Not going to get the other one. Sadly. Yeah, I don't know how to respond even at this point. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what the question was supposed to be. It's like, what can I do? I had to like stare at it for a bit and think like, what, what could this mean? Am I missing something? I, I'll tell you what I'm missing. That deer because I didn't get vitals. <laughs> ah, feels bad. Hey, Speedin', how's it going? I notice that you pick up your white tails that you shoot. Does it matter if you don't? Yes, it does, Capto. If you don't pick up your kills, you probably will not get a great one. It's been like hinted by uh, by the community manager for Expansive Worlds that you need to claim your kills or it might hurt your grind. Obviously, you can't say directly, but that's that's basically as good as a confirmation that you need to uh, claim your kills. A lot of people have suspected that you need to because the people that were not doing it were not getting great ones to spawn very often. Like, 10 times longer. Uh, what species, Capto? And, uh... There we go. Wait, do we have two to shoot here? Oh, we got an extra one. There we go. Take that one down. Whitetail? I mean, that's really high kill count for Whitetail. Most get it in sub 2,000. I'd say 2,500 to 3,000 is the most it should ever take for a Whitetail grind. Um, if it takes longer than that, either you're getting really unlucky or in that case not claiming your kills probably did it because like you were still claiming diamonds right so technically you could still respawn a great one because you're still picking up animals it's just you're not picking up as many as you would normally be nobody really knows the science behind it but something about not claiming makes great ones not spawn as often most of the people that i've talked to that um most of the people that i talked to that did no claim they didn't get their great one for like 10 to 20,000 kills. However, there used to be... It used to be different. You used to be able to do no claim and get tons of great ones to show up, right? They used to show up at the same pace as always. And then they did an update sometime, who knows when, that changed everything. And then ever since then, like... People have not been able to get great ones very effectively doing that.
Man, we just can't catch a break today with these uh, terrible shots and needing to reload when I need to take a follow-up. Like, we're getting screwed over today by these whitetail. Well, it's still a day away, Wolf Beast. If you uh, saw the post that I posted, it tells you this time zone that I'm in. So you can just convert that to your time and it'll tell you. Pike, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. We're twins, Crow. We both got level four Mela Super Moose. Dude, that's insane. Yeah, I was, um... I was in the call with everybody the other day when you were telling, I believe you were telling Caitlin or Brobra. I think you were telling Brobra. So yeah, I remember you mentioning that. That's awesome, man. That is super cool. Those things are not easy to get. Not easy to get at all. Quite rare. When does the stream start tomorrow? Should be around... 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so noon. There we go. And we're now at a 780 whitetail kills. Wait, there's is there a great one fallow? There will be with this next update. There isn't currently, but there will be once Australia drops. What's the best animal to grind for? Uh, it depends on what you like, really, man. Like... Are you talking a great one grind or a non-great one grind? Or just whatever? Yes, Speed, and we're getting an Australia map. It's going to release in five days, actually. The 20th, we get the brand new Australia reserve. And uh, tomorrow, I get to post the first early access episode of the brand new Australia map. What animals are gonna be on Australia? Uh, we got the Rusa deer, Sambar deer, hog deer. We got the gray kangaroo. We've got the stubble quail. We've got the bantang. We've got the crocodiles and we got the magpie goose. And then for old species, we got feral pigs. We got axis deer. Uh, we got red deer. We got fallow deer. Um, what else? What's the last one? There's two more. What are they? My brain just went blank. Oh, Red Fox. That's one of them. Oh, yeah. Feral Goats. Thank you, Pike. Feral Goats is the other one. So, a pretty solid lineup, honestly. I'd kind of looked like it from what we saw in the uh, EW streams, uh, King Charles. If you go back through my kind of like review videos on the streams, I think I mentioned it in one of them that I thought it looked like they might have changed something with them, but I wasn't sure. Or was it in the images? It might have been the images on Steam. I remember there was something I saw during the whole like hype up period where I was like, oh, that looks different. Maybe it was the goats I'm thinking of actually. Maybe it was the feral goats. That might have been it. It might have been the feral goats that I saw and I was like, that looks a little different. In fact, I think it probably was feral goats I'm thinking of. Why are animals never in their zones at the right time? I don't know, Sean. I assume it's supposed to be like that. In fact, I'm pretty sure Jaxie confirmed on stream a couple weeks ago that it is 
intended for them to not be perfect. Like, perfectly at their time, the time it says. Apparently, they're supposed to have a little variance to mimic, like, real life, where not everything's going to be at their zone at the same time every day. So, I believe it was done on purpose. To give a little more randomness. It's unfortunate for people that like grinding, but... Oh, he showed one in the last stream. Okay, so I, I guess I did comment on the Axis Deer then. Yes, you are. I got it months ago. I already showed it off in a live stream. Uh, Becky, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Can't wait for Australia. Might launch my channel and release date. Nice, nice. Hopefully it goes well for you. Mela kangaroo, that'd be cool. Right now, we don't know what rares the kangaroos have. We got to see some of the rares for Rusa and Sambar, Bantang, and Quail during the last EW stream, but he didn't show off any kangaroos because of Lady Legends kangaroo showcase video. Should you practice hunting fallow or gators to get ready for Australia? I'd say go for the gators for now. Because there's going to be a reset to fallow deer. In fact, actually, there's going to be a reset to gators also, now that I think of it. I mean, I'd say gators. I I'd say go for the gators, just so you can get some practice in on, like, the neck shots and stuff. What great ones should I grind? I would recommend Whitetail. They have been the most fun for me personally. If you're not a fan of Whitetail, I'd say second choice is Moose. If you want something that's a little more of a challenge, but has some insane fur types and antlers to reward you. There we go. Uh, sounds about right, uh, Trigger Appy. Sounds about right. Oh, let me just verify. You did, you did, uh, convert it for like 12 p.m., right? Because I know I've seen a lot of people get 12 p.m. and a.m. confused. Um, 12 a.m. is midnight. 12 p.m. is uh, after is a noon time. So it's like the, um, the video goes live at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then I start my stream up one hour later. If it's going to be 5 a.m. for you, that's crazy, dude. You must live pretty far away, like Australia or New Zealand. That's unfortunate if it's that late for you. That is unfortunate. Also, am I missing a doe? I feel like I'm missing a doe and I didn't even shoot one here. Weird stuff happened into my map. Really weird stuff, man. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's not a doe that was missing. It was the buck I couldn't see. I forgot we have four bucks and one doe here. That's right. Oh, you do live in Australia. Okay, that makes sense then. That makes sense. Well, lucky for you, I'm going to be streaming for probably 10 to 12 hours, so... I'll still be streaming whenever you're, uh, whenever you're up and awake. So even though I'm starting pretty early for you, we'll be streaming for a very long time. I'm gonna do my best to just show off everything I can. Two. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Hey, maybe you'll make it. I mean, you're technically one rack smaller, so I doubt it, but maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> 
Terrible shot. Yes, Hunter SB09. Tomorrow is early access. Tomorrow is the beginning of content creator early access for the new map. So there will be lots of content being posted on it. Lots and lots. Did this thing die? Oh, yeah. Must have been two non-vital hits then. Or maybe a spine shot. Oh, it would have made it. That would have made it. This is not the rack I thought it was. What? I thought this was small rack. Didn't that look like small rack with the way it was angled up like that? Like I totally thought this was the small one. I totally thought that was small rack, but it was a really wonky, unique looking... Ah, oh, man, I'm sad about that. <laughs> sad I messed it up. Feels bad. Yeah, I thought it was for sure, man. I thought that was a smaller one. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, rest in pieces to that deer. That could have been so good. I thought it was smaller though, so I didn't really uh, take my time with it. Bro, pulled a bro, bro. I did. I definitely did there. Unfortunately, the bro, bro aim has infected me. Ooh. Eh, okay. Little redemption. Time to get a little redemption, guys. Reloading might help. That's usually part of redemption is making sure your gun's loaded. Nice. Got him. Hello, sir. Are you going to be good? 261, same score as the other one. A little bit lower weight. Honestly, still really low scoring for this rack. Not as cool as the other one, though. He doesn't uh, stick upwards. Feels bad. At least it's a diamond. At least we got a dime. Redemption indeed, it's oh so sweet. Oh so sweet redemption for me. Redemption deer always feels so great. Getting those diamonds and eventually great ones. Hopefully. Hello? Oh, there's a buck. I'm gonna say, there's gotta be a buck there, right? I think it's just one, so... Pop him with this. Beautiful. You know, I like the 303. I know I don't use it too much, but I do like it. It's got a really good sound. It's a powerhouse. I used this for Red Deer grinding for quite a while. And I grinded my first Great One Whitetail with it also. So, I mean, it's a, it's kind of a nostalgic weapon for me to use. Got my first Great One with it. Did my first Great One grind using it. Did a lot of my Red Deer grinding. Just a gun I've been through a lot with in the game. It's still a powerhouse too. I mean, look at that. Just dropping them. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. It's an awesome gun. 
It is an awesome, awesome gun. You know what? Let's uh, let's give it a little bit of spice. Give it some spice real quick. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it bugged out hard for a second, man. That was wild. <laughs> that might be the weirdest thing I've ever seen it do. Everything was blue. What's going to look good on this? Oh, oh, we can't do that. Oh, no, we can't. That would just feel wrong. It would just feel so wrong to do this. I mean, I don't know what. I don't know what's come over me, guys. It feels so wrong. But like, I just I want to use it. What DLC is that rifle a part of? It's part of Tiabaroa. So whenever you buy Tiabaroa, you get the option to purchase the rifle. And then, uh, if you play the missions for Tiabaroa, you can also get it for free. You monster. I know, right? It's rough. <laughs> when does Emerald Coast come out? The 20th. I live in Oregon, Dr. Awesome. Good old Oregon. Honestly, I feel like Oregon might be the most awesome, mediocre state. Like, it's beautiful here. It's an absolutely gorgeous place to live. It's got amazing fishing. But then, like, everything else is kind of like, eh. Especially, like, the prices here. Everything's so expensive in Oregon. <laughs> Ridiculous. There we go. But, like, it's such a beautiful place to live. Yeah, we do get lots of rain. Lots of rain, which is great for me because I don't like the heat. I mean, if it gets above... 75 degrees, I'm like dying practically. <laughs> Bro, why are you back there? Why are you why are you back there? You don't need to be. Please come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. I mean <clears throat> you're not gonna feel it at least. <laughs> Rest in pieces to him. Well, that's 800 whitetail kills on this grind. Can't decide what rifle to invest in for gators and crocs. I do well with 308, but are there other options? Yes, so the new crocs are going to be class 7. If you guys watched the EW stream last uh, Tuesday, Jaxi showed off the Crocs a little bit. And they are class 7, so you can use the 300 Magnum, you can use the 338. So those two rifles are going to do really good on Crocs. 308 is not a bad option, but I would recommend 300 or 338 just because of the fact that it lets you use those on them. I don't know if they're going to change it for Gators though. I'm curious, will they make Gators class 6 or 7 after the rework? I got a feeling they'll just keep them at 6. But it's hard to say. Definitely trigger happy, definitely. It's cool to see them actually make them a bit more interesting to hunt. That's going to be really cool. I use an app on my phone, uh, Andrew. It's uh, it's called Click Counter. Um, I believe so, Stasis. They should be. From what Jaxie showed, it looked like the Crocs are going to be uh, bigger. At least, like, weight-wise. I don't know if they will visually be bigger, though. There we go.
For your great one, Whitetail, do you just shoot all twos? Yes, so... All of my main, like, ten zones, I shoot all of the bucks out of those. For the most part, I shoot two bucks out of each of them. Except for specific ones. To be honest, it's really hard to explain because I do something different for every single zone that I hunt. I've got 10 zones. Most of them I just shoot whatever bucks are there. But then there's some where I leave two level ones alive and then kill the two level twos that show up. And then the rest of the zones on my map that I'm not hunting are all level ones. So I just never shoot those. Eight oh four on the kills. I want my twenty seven foot long Giga Crocs. Jeez. Could you imagine like a giant, like dinosaur sized crocodile just comes out of nowhere, just starts mauling you doing the death roll? Oh, that would be so cool if they could do the death roll. Could you guys imagine if they somehow figured out a way to make uh, crocs and gators like grab onto your hunter's leg and just do a death roll? That'd be so crazy. I imagine that'd be too much work though. That seems like it'd be really tough to implement. But oh my gosh, could you, could you just imagine? That'd be so crazy. I'd love that. Yeah, true. That is what the Sarkos do in Ark. Insta kill. Yup, you'd you'd be gone. You would be gone, man. It'd be the end. Rest in peace to all hunters that get death rolled by Crocs. What the? What zone are you from? Hold up. What zone are you from? Alright guys, we're about to do some backtracking. I gotta find out what zone that is. Oh no. What happened here, man? We got a we got a new two out of nowhere? Oh my gosh. Is that the Jaxie? I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure it's the Jaxie. It is the Jaxie. Okay, that's the correct Jaxie. Good. Alright, let, let's get Jaxie moderating. Or let's get Jaxie the moderator so I can know it's you. <laughs> How's it going, Jaxie? Holy. <laughs> How's it going, Jaxie? Hope you're doing good. Okay. Now, I don't want to grab that buck. I got to figure out what zone he's from. Because I don't remember having any more twos in these surrounding zones. Yeah, it's great to see you, Jaxie. It's great to see you. Hopefully, hopefully the day's been going good. Getting that one last stream in before we get to jump into that early access tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm so absolutely pumped with it. We got to figure out where this came from, though. Doing a little bit of backtracking. Because I do not have, or I don't recognize that herd. Either it's a herd that I've already shot down, and it just randomly got a two, or we've got a new herd. I'd say it's likely it's one of the old herds and they just got a new buck, which is not good still. Hunters, thank you for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. I'm assuming that's uh, I'm assuming that's one saying that saying that I'm cool because that's like the cool glasses going on. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing great. Where is? You know, I put you on the trail, but like I don't know if you can backtrack normal tracks. <laughs> could you imagine if the dogs could actually like track without blood? That'd be so cool. Where did this come from? I think I know what herd it is, but... Gotta double check. Because now I've killed a buck out of there, so I gotta keep track of the respawn.
Nice, Jaxi. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. Yeah, Chip. For sure. Jaxi going to bring the typical rat great one today? Yeah, now that we got Jaxi in the chat, maybe we'll get some uh, luck on that typical rack, eh? That'd be amazing. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Hey, TDB, how's it going? Hey, Ben. Hey, so it didn't come from this way. <laughs> oh, no, I guess I, I guess I haven't found it yet. <laughs> Bad those powers, everybody would get a great one. I know, right? You get a great one. You get a great one. And you get a great one too, Hunter. Good one too. Okay, I'm stumped as to where this herd came from. I'm going to probably just assume it's one of the surrounding zones. Like, probably, I'd say that one. No, it's probably this one, to be honest. Because this zone was missing a respawn last time I hunted it. It's most likely that. It is what it is. We'll figure it out later, I guess. What is the size of the big rack for the Red Deer Great One? I usually like 268 plus, I think. Typically, it's around 270 scoring. Pretty large, though. Like, really large. Wish the game had mechanics where you could use hounds to tree lions and bears. That'd be awesome, dude. That'd be awesome. You think kangaroos will be a hard diamond? It's hard to say. We haven't really seen too much from them. 215. Where are you from, buddy? I've tracked you for 1.29 kilometers, though. I think I know. 1.29. He's got to be, yeah, it's got to be this zone over here. It's got to be one of these zones. I bet that's what it was. I think I spooked this herd and this herd, and they merged and just walked all the way over here while I was shooting these two zones. I bet that's what happened. I probably missed that deer the last time I was going through there. Well, I think we figured it out, hopefully. Hunters, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're doing great. Oh. Hello. We got one, two bucks for me and you. Ah, no, I forgot to reload. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that today? That's like the fourth time today. That's like the fourth time today that I forgot to reload. Well, that guy's getting away. It is what it is. We'll get him next time. Hey, just, just remember, Jaxie, you don't have to respond to everything. We get it. You know, it's tough to respond to everybody. It's tough to respond to everything, for sure. Bladen, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Hope you get that great one. Thank you, dude. I hope I get it, too. Hopefully, we can make it happen. Where can we watch Jaxi Hunt besides EW Stream? Um, he did a stream on his Twitch recently, and I assume he'll probably be doing some more on there. Ooh, that's a Jumbo 3. That could be 275. That's got a good chance of being a monster. That could be a really monstrous whitetail. And then we got what we got that thing. That's a good whitetail. That could that could be a giant. If it's 274 or bigger, I'll be pretty happy. Because we haven't seen a 274 plus in ages. Holy hunters! Thank you for the super chat again, man. Absolute legend. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the support. Let's get that hype in chat, guys. Let's get that hype in chat for all of the uh, super chatters and super stickerers and, and members that have joined today. Come on. Come on, slow down for me. 
Don't face away, though. Oh, it's 12! Okay, I see why. I didn't get it far enough. Okay, there we go. Straighten out. You know what? We got him. There we go. We got him. Holy. 275.12. We'll see, Miles. There we go. All the hype in chat. Thank you, guys. Seven shots, Elijah. Oof. Ouch, man. That's rough. At least you got it, though. That's all that matters. Ah, 272, but it is max weight. Beautiful. Not a bad buck. Got a decent shot. I was almost a little bit too far to the right, though. Didn't hit 274 or 275, though, sadly. Now, I think we are uh, due for a time reset. How many zones for Moose on Medved and how long to set up? Uh, it took a long time for me to set up. Like, a couple hundred hours to fully, like, find and figure out my zones for Moose on Medved. Uh, there's You're going to need to search for, like, 120 plus zones on Medved. And so it takes a long time to get going. It takes even longer to figure out, like, what's consistent there. Honestly, I recommend with Moose, I wouldn't worry too much about finding every zone. I would just pick a portion of the map that you like and just repeatedly hunt it. That's what I did with Rev. I went to the north half of Rev and I just hunted that because I, I couldn't be bothered to search the entire map. Couple hundred hours in real life? Yep. If you want to fully find all your Moose on Medved, it, it takes a long time. Because the solos move a lot. And depending on how many solos you end up getting that don't spawn with herds. Because, like, a lot of times you'll get solos with herds. But if you have a bunch of solos just on their own, each of them in, like, a different zone, you're going to have so many zones you need to find. And they can be anywhere on Medved. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be at least 100 hours to find all of your moose. Which is why I recommend if you're not if you're not trying to herd manage, if you're trying to just like hunt moose, then I recommend just picking a portion of the map you really like. But if you're doing herd management, yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to find all your moose and it's gonna take a long time. It's exactly why I don't herd manage moose when I hunt them. Because I, I just don't have fun with herd managing moose. Uh, Discord is linked in the description. It's also in a uh, command that the moderators and members can bring up. Holy. Sport, thank you for the super chat again. Let's get that great one. We're going to do our best. We're going to do our best. You know, I got a good feeling about today. Last time that I did something like this, we ended up getting a great one. I think it was the release of New England. I want to say it was the release of New England where I decided to do like one more grinding stream before the release of the map and we ended up getting a uh, great one whitetail. Maybe we can make that happen again. I mean, we're not like, we're not too, too far into this grind, but we're far enough to where I could see it happening. We're at 813 kills. Usually we get our great one whitetail between 1,000 and 2,000, so. I mean, it's likely it could happen if I grind long enough today. But the thing is, I'm only going to be grinding till max of 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, at the most, I'll be live for another, like, 2 hours and 20 minutes. And I'm going to have to take a break in between, or, like, in the middle of the stream, so... We can maybe reach a thousand kills today. We can maybe get ourselves up to a thousand kills. That's if I'm like on point, just smoking whitetail like it's nothing and all the respawns are behaving. So, yeah, it's uh, 
It's going to be heavily based on how the whitetail behave. I could maybe reach a thousand. But that still won't guarantee that we'll get a great one. That is all going to be up to chance. Fallow's probably going to be the great one. I'm assuming you mean the best great one? Or most popular? I definitely think so. I think it's going to be the most popular for sure. Because they've got the same kind of like style as a moose, right? They got the fur types and the antlers that are... That gives so many different variations and combinations to get. But without the pain that moose puts you through. So I think it's going to be the most popular. Hunters, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Holy. Absolute legend over here. Just absolutely going wild. Oh. How dare you not render in until I get right on top of you. That is so rude. Making me have to add more pressure to this zone than I wanted. Such a rude deer. No bear grind today? Probably not, Jacob. I'm just not in a bear mood. Yeah, I gotta be in a bear mood to hunt bears, right? Otherwise, I just, uh... I, I go crazy. <laughs> I can't, uh... I can't just hunt bears every stream. I, I gotta be in the mood to hunt bears. You know, 8,000 kills into a grind. Once we get a few Great One Fallow, however long that may take, we'll return to the bear grind and try to finish it. So we will finish it, but I just don't know when. Yes, that is a that is a Swiss cheese whitetail for sure. I may have shot it a couple times. Like, maybe just a couple. <laughs> Brylin, thank you for the uh, super chat. Is that like, wait, is that a super sticker with a message or? Holy, that's crazy. I've never seen that before. Is that a new thing with YouTube? Like there's a sticker there, but there's also a message. Is that like a new form of super chat? That's cool. Thank you for the super chat though. You're the best YouTuber ever. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Y'all are just being too good to me today. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Y'all are just great. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Got five here. Okay, two bucks. Two bucks. I think, honestly, that is what it is. Or that is what it was. I think this buck that we shot over here was from one of these herds. And I think they just ran over there after I spooked them. I think so, at least. Looks like the same amount of deer and the same amount of, like, level ones that we saw running by. Rylan, thank you for another super chat. My gosh. Y'all are just too kind. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Ian, how's it going, dude? When does Australia come out? It comes out the 20th. Typically, they get released, like, 2.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so like 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know if it's going to be the same this time around, but that's what it's been pretty much always in the past. We're so close, guys. Like, we're so close. We've got early access coming up tomorrow, and then literally five days from now, the full release of the map. It's just such an exciting time for Call of the Wild. I am just absolutely elated. I'm impatient too, man. Like, I'm super impatient <laughs> just waiting for it. Ah, oh, man, I just want to get into the Great One Fallow grind. I just want to get straight into it. And also try to go for, like, some of the insane rares that Jaxie showed off during the last EW stream. Like, ah, my gosh, I need them all. I need them all. Same time as always, crazy early in the morning. Got you. Okay. So yeah, it is going to be the same time as always, so around like between 2 and 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, between 5 and 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. They are, man. They're so insane. Those rares are crazy. The second I saw you spawn in that Rusa deer, like the second pattern for the Rusa deer, I immediately knew I needed both of those. And the, um, the sandbar looked pretty crazy too. 
And of course, Brobra's quail. We got to get Brobra a quail. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be doing a lot of like bird hunts with Brobra to try and get him an albino stubble quail. I'm sure that's going to be like his dream trophy at this point. It's got to be. USS Pizza Hut, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. What map should I do my fallow grind on? Um, I would recommend Tiavaroa as of now. We haven't really got to see what Australia is going to be like, but I couldn't ever see anything topping Tiavaroa for fallow deer. It's just a gold mine for fallow. It's so easy to hunt them on there because they're so condensed into one small portion of the map and they've got a really good drink time. And the actual, like, places that they tend to be are so wide open and easy to hunt. Like, it's just going to be a no-brainer in my opinion. But again, you know, you don't have to go with the best all the time, but I definitely recommend Tiavaroa if you're looking for the best of the best. Oh my gosh, you guys are going crazy. <laughs> Ryland, thank you so much for the super chat once again. We will see if the super sticker is a new thing. I don't know if it is. Is it for first, for first Super Chats, Nate? It might be. It might be. No quail for Brobra. Hey, now. You know, me and Brobra may always wish the worst on each other. You know, uh, uh, that's what friends do, right? But, you know, I wouldn't wish for him to never get a quail trophy. No. I hope he gets one. I just hope I get them first. <laughs> yeah, dear killer. <laughs> That's the Easter skin. What you mean, man? It's Easter skin. Best skin in the game. I'm, you know, if that's, if you didn't like that, you're going to hate this. <laughs> I took a classic 303, you know. Not only did we uh, modify it to the sport variation, because I believe this is modeled off of like modified ones, right? Let me see. Yeah, that's why it's called the Sporter, right? The FL Sporter. Yeah, it's like a a Sportified 308 or 303. And then we slapped a we slapped a pink and yellow and Easter colored camo on it. Wonder how many like uh, classic gun collectors would rage if somebody did this to a gun in real life. I know it would make me a little sad if somebody did this in real life. <laughs> yeah, Evan. That's, uh, yeah, that's how it'd be. You know, Brober's the homie. But, you know, even even the homie gotta wait to get his trophies if I haven't got mine, you know? <laughs> it's a race all the time. Racing for those trophies. Nah, Brober will probably get bird trophies before me because I don't hunt birds as much. It's just fun to mess with Brobra. <laughs> yeah, deer killer. <laughs> Sounds about right, man. Where's the other deer? Did I claim it? I think I claimed it. I must have. I must have claimed it. Do I hunt the unicorns? Yeah, I mean, if I find a if I find a one antlered white tail, then definitely. Hunters, thank you for the super chat once again, buddy. Thank you so much. What time is your next stream? Uh, it'll be tomorrow at noon. Tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time will be the next live stream. Any ideas for free editing software for videos that are dummy proof? I mean, I wouldn't say I necessarily know of any that are like dummy proof, like super easy to use. Uh, Shotcut's probably your best option for a completely free one. Um, I know that there's other options, but that's just the one that I used when I was when I didn't want to pay for a uh, editor. I used Shotcut. Oh yes, let's go! Oh my gosh, another big rack, man! I can't get away from the big racks. <laughs> I can't escape the big rack crate with whitetail. That's like, I think we've had three big racks in a row. Holy. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, the Jaxie luck. Jaxie's in the chat and we get a great one. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> you picked a great stream to join, Jaxie. <laughs> and what did I tell you guys last time that we did one last grinding stream before like a big update? We got lucky and it happened again. Let's go. <laughs> How many kills was that today? I think we started at like 670 or something. Let me check. How many kills did we start the day on? Oh my gosh. Uh, we started the day on 685. We're now at 825. So that's 140 kills today. 140 kills over the first two hours of the stream and we got him. Jeez. Rylan, thank you for the super chat. So happy for you, Scarecrow. Good job. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Also, did my mic peak the same as it always did? Because I changed the settings on it. I'm hoping it didn't peak as bad. Whew. Oh my gosh. What are we going to shoot this with? I didn't even get a chance to go out of my tent. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do I use? What what gun do I use? Holy cat of the five gifted memberships. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Congrats to uh, Big Buck Bill, uh, Simonizer. Uh, Astro Place. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. Uh, Colorado Time, Evan Parker. Congrats, guys. Congrats. Holy, what gun do we use? What gun do we use? Have I used the Bolt Action 223? I've used the AR one. I don't think I've used the Bolt Action. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Uh, what do we use? You know what? Um, I kind of want to go with the compound bow again. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, we're shooting a great one, bro. bro. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We got a great one. <laughs> oh, man. I need to notify the Discord as well. I, I forgot. I, I haven't even notified the Discord. I should probably do that. All right, let's get the Hawk Edge out. Actually, no, I used the Hawk Edge to kill a great one already. I need to use my favorite bow, the Coder CB65. This thing is awesome. Oh, gosh, we got the Easter going there, too. All right, I'll notify Discord. Holy. So we're definitely on a better, uh, a better good luck streak for great ones. We had a pretty bad streak for a while. Uh, the last three grinds though have been 1762, 476, and now 825. That's not bad. Like we're doing pretty good the last couple grinds. Okay. What are we going to skin it with? Can we do no we can't okay that's sad wish I could do that um yeah nah we'll do something different we'll do something different what about urban camo type of look that's kind of cool uh we could do you know I don't know actually I mean, that looks pretty sick. Not gonna lie, this bow looks really good, just all black. Okay, let's get the proper arrows. Which ones do we want? We want the 420s, right? Yeah, 420 tracer. Tracer arrow. Now we're good to go. Don't need a sight for this, because I prefer the single pin. There we go. Woo wee. Hold on. I got to make sure I didn't miss any super chats. Um, Cannon, thank you for the super chat, dude. And Adam, thank you for the uh, super chat as well. 223 pistol neck shot. No balls. Well, I mean, that's a uh, neck shot. Really? Nah, that's just, that's getting a little too wacky right there. You know, it's a little too wacky. And yeah, we need to reset the time. We're at 1155. But uh, once again, Cannon, thank you for the super sticker. And uh, Adam, thank you for the super chat. 
And Christopher, thank you for the super chat. Congratulations, Crow, right on. Thank you, dude. We're going to push up and try to get this thing. We're going to try to get it. Oh, my gosh. We got so close to 40 great ones. We got so close to 40 great ones before uh, early access, but unless we get two more great ones today, we're not going to hit 40. But it's fine. I'm just happy we got at least one more. <laughs> Holy. Your membership expired. Oh, no, Johnny. Feels bad, Johnny. Feels bad. Holy. Uh, Adam, thank you so much for the super chat once again. Would you say you're a scared crow? A little a little bit. A little bit. Anytime I pull a bow out to take down something like this, I'm a little bit of a scared crow. Not gonna lie. Dude, this is the same zone as our last great one. Is, or not our last great one. Uh, this is the same as our... I think like three great ones ago. Three great... Uh, I, uh, I can't speak. Three great ones ago. This is the same spot that the uh, last Kinsko Rack one spawned. Man, what is it with us and big racks though? I think I've got more big racks than cluster racks now. Oh my god. That's insane. Had to go for the dad joke. I mean, dad jokes are kind of like the norm here, so perfect. Holy, it's Kinsko. How's it going, Kinsko? Good to see you. Yeah, we got the beast right here. We got the monster right in front of us. Another jumbo big rack. Fireball Shane, thank you so much for the uh, super sticker. Really appreciate it, dude. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're doing amazing. Yeah, speaking of Kinsko Rack, we got a Kinsko in the chat. For those that didn't know, Kinsko is kind of the origination of the name Kinsko Rack for the... Uh, it's also called the Blade Rack by some people as well, but I've always called it the Kinsko Rack because he was like the second person to get it and the first one to have video of it. And so ever since then, I've called it the Kinsko Rack. And I mean, if you haven't already, be sure to check out Kinsko. He's started his content up again on his channel, and he's been doing pretty regular stuff. So give him a give him a, a look if you haven't already. Not sure if I've heard of that, uh, Clay Drew. Not sure if I've heard of it. I didn't just shoot a Seiko with a 300. Whoops. Oof, rest in pieces, Johnny. You've been nailing those uh, Diamond Seiko recently. You've been getting a lot of them. Holy. Why are we proning? Because we got a great one in front of us. Awesome, A-Rod. We got a great one right there. 825 kills for this one. One of our uh, better grinds as of recent. Which is awesome. Let's, uh, let's go prone and kind of sneak up. I'm going to look at our previous grinds real quick. So, ever since we got back into grinding Whitetail pretty heavily, we started off with a really rough streak. We had 1461, 1923, and 2271. Then we had a lucky one at 289. Then another 1762 for the next. Uh, 476 for our last one. And now 825 for this one. So, we're on a better streak than we were uh, like a month ago. Definitely on a better streak recently. Look at that. This zone too, man. Like this zone is just insane. This zone is ridiculous. Could you imagine if we looked across and there was another? <laughs> That's my dream, man. I want to get two in the same run one of these days. I only know a couple people that have made that happen. Uh, the only one I can think of off the top of my head is LC. LC got those two great one red deer like side by side in the same run, which was nuts. Nice, Thomas. That is huge. That is pretty huge. Oh, all right. Let's do the do the little sneaky sneak. Try to get up as close as we can. The whitetail in this zone usually don't spook very easily. We've got lots of cover, and the wind is always really good, so we should be able to get close to him. I'm probably gonna take a shot from like 40. I think we've took a really close bow shot before. I want to do one from slightly farther away and just hope that we get it. Hopefully. 
Nice, bam, that's awesome. Did this just spawn? It did, Christine. It just spawned. Oh, I'm sorry, Evan. <laughs> no, Pip, we're not really grinding bears today. This is the last stream we'll be doing before early access, so I wanted to hunt something that actually has a pretty good chance of giving us a great one. Bears just aren't kind to me. Bears just don't like me, man. You should know by now that if I got a great one bear, I'd make much more of a point of it in the Discord that I got a great one bear. I don't think I would just say great one spawned in Discord if it was a bear. I would have said like, oh my gosh, finally the 8,000 kill grind is done. We got the great one bear live on stream. Guys, come get in here and watch it. It'd be much more of a big deal if I got a bear. If it was bears, it'd be nighttime. Yuck, I, I know, right? Nighttime drink zones. Ew. I don't think I know anybody that likes nighttime drink zones. Well, maybe a couple, but not very many. Hmm, this is not a great angle. That tent being there kind of throws this off. <laughs> the tent's right in front of him. Oh, that's unlucky. I think he has moved closer to the tent as well. Yikes. Um, let me think, Clay Drew. Uh, how about the Glock? The Glock was really fun on Red Deer. I like taking the uh, Great One Red Deer with a Glock. Could you fast travel and insta shoot him? No, because, wait, maybe I could if he's drinking. If he goes down to take a drink, I think I could. Do you imagine? Okay, he's in a terrible spot, so I think we're going to try what Kinsko just recommended. If it doesn't work, though, I'm not going to take a risky shot. Like, if he, if he runs before I get the shot off, I'm not going to try and shoot him. Uh, we can always just reset the time and try for him again if this doesn't work, but you may be on to something, Kinsko, because if it goes into a drinking animation, it cannot run until it breaks that animation. Wait. Where is it? Did he move? Or is he inside of my tent? Where is he? Okay, we're gonna have to get in the trees if we want to move any closer. Whitetail are stupid, but they'll still start noticing you. If you get like within 20 without any cover. Gosh, this isn't giving me cover. He's not by the tent. Where is he? It's 11.34, we should be fine. What rack is he? It's a big rack. Again. It seems like big rack's the only thing I can get as of recent. Don't look at me like that. She definitely knows something's up. Where did he go? Okay, guys, Um, have any of you ever used that perk that lets you shoot while prone with a bow? Can you aim down sights when it's like that? Because if you can, I might try that. I might reset all of my skills and perks just to try that. Where is he? Where did he go? Oh, found the great one. You can? Oh my gosh, I gotta do that. I gotta do that. Uh, is it perks or skills? Is it skills or perks? I think it's... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reset perks. Um, what do I reset? What can I reset real quick? Yeah, that should give me enough. It's not like I'm going to need these to take a bow shot. Oh my gosh, let's do this. But where is he? We still can't find him though. Let's see. Okay, this is perfect. This is perfect. Now we just got to find where he is. In the tent? Right side of the tent? I don't think he's right side of the tent. No, he's not at the tent anymore. I don't think so. Oh, they noticed me. They noticed me. Well, I kind of figured that would happen. Sport, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. Uh, would you like to hunt in South Africa in real life? Yeah, that'd be really cool. I don't know if I'll ever get the opportunity to do so, but I'd love it. Oh. It's right here. He's right there. Did he move more? We're going to have to move up. I want to do the prone shot. I want to. Now that we've uh, learned that you can ADS while you're prone with that perk, we're going to do it. I'm not going to stand up for this. I'm going to prone. I'm going to prone and I'm going to get him. Oh gosh, where is he? He might have ran. He might have ran. You can't hit the ground when you're prone? Okay, that's kind of what I figured, so we got to be careful. Oh my gosh. This is nerve-wracking, because I don't know how this is going to go. And I don't know where he's gone either. If he does spook off, I might just wait for them to come back. Though sometimes if you're towards the end of the drink time, they don't. So... Oh my gosh, we are at the end of the drink time. I think he's gone already. Yeah, he's definitely gone already. Unfortunate, man. Okay, we're going to have to reset the time and... Wait for him to come back and try it again. Okay, I have an idea, though. I'm going to remove the tent that's right there so it doesn't get in my way. Uh, let's get rid of this tent real quick. That tent kind of screwed things up badly. It's a little bit buggy when you're prone, too. Okay, I'll try to keep that in mind. For those that are not familiar with what we're doing, that may just be joining the stream right now, we redid our perks, and we got the perk that makes it so you can shoot the bow while you're prone. And so we're going to try to take the great one while prone with the bow. Because, you know, that just seems like a great idea, right? <laughs> that just seems like a fantastic idea. <laughs> okay, we'll probably have to main menu because I just spooked them. This thing's best, best, gosh, I can't speak. Best, uh, ah, I can't speak. I'm trying to say next one, but I almost said best one. <laughs> like three times. 
This stinks. Next one better be typical. I know, right, Jax? I'm hoping that it will be. We got to get it. We got to get that typical rack, but I mean, it's the rarest rack in the game for them, so... I'm not expecting the game to just give it to me. It's a tough one. It's a really tough one to get. There he is. Now we begin our stock once again. Take two. Ah, uh, sure, Clay. Drew, go for it. And if you really want to get spicy with it, hip fire. I don't expect you to since your grind's been very long, though. There he is. Typical rack or bear? Uh, typical rack. I would take a typical rack over a bear. Just because I've put 36,000 kills into try and get, trying to get a typical rack and never got it. So I would take that because it's been a longer grind technically. No, JD, that sucks, man. I'm sorry. Look at that beauty. Yeah, it's not a typical rack. This one's just a uh, big rack. This is like probably my seventh big rack or something crazy like that. Seems like the big rack and the cluster rack are easily the most common. Seems like everybody gets those. I'll see you gotta spawn him first. Yeah, that's why I was saying like you're you're deep into the grind, so I don't expect you to do something like that. But it was pretty fun when I did it. And it was really like uh surprisingly accurate as well. Like the Glock's hip fire. It's like a 70% chance it's gonna hit close to where you aim if you're within like 30 meters. But you know that little 30% chance that it could go way off to the left or right is what it's what makes it fun, you know? <laughs> you could get a hard shot, you could bop him in the nose. Oh man. Don't botch it. I will do my best. I'm going to be taking a prone shot with a bow. Because if you didn't know, you can go to the perks right here. Go to the archery and then this perk right here, like a pro. Unlocks the ability to enter aim mode with a bow while prone. Allows for stealthy bow hunting. That's what we're trying. Jeez. What a beauty. Now the question is, is this going to be a high scoring or low scoring uh, big rack? I think it's going to be a pretty average one. Probably around 635, maybe 630 at the lowest. Doesn't look super big in terms of like what that rack normally scores. Seems like it's going to be an average scoring big rack. Six forty? Ooh, going big, Nicholas. I, I like the way you think. I like the way you think. I hope it's a six forty. I'd love that. That'd be awesome. Am I gonna stream Emerald Coast like until the public release date? Uh, yes, Ginger. The second we're allowed to showcase the map, I'll be streaming and posting videos on it. Clear up until the full release, and then we'll probably start up our Great One Fallow grind, as well as like searching for the new diamonds and rares. Texas hard shot with the bow? I don't know if I'm that daring. Yeah, like the majority of people will never see a typical rack, JD. It's crazy. Um, I've got 20... 20, this will be my 27th Great One Whitetail. Never got a typical rack. I've got two that are 50% the typical rack. Um, I think I buy Premiums has over 30 Great One Whitetail, and he's never got a typical rack either. Um, I believe Zombie has a couple of them, but then again, he's got like 30 plus Whitetail Great Ones as well. 
It's a rare rack. You're very lucky to have one. Here we go. We're exactly 40 away. The wind is looking good. Smoked him. Question is, did we hit spine? He, uh, he kind of bent down right as I shot. That looks fine, maybe? Oh, no. Did we? Oh, no. <laughs> I think we messed him up. I think we messed him up. He, he put his head down as I shot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well. <laughs> It was bound to happen eventually with how many great ones I've hunted. Don't tell me we just messed up a great one. <laughs> we definitely did. No! That stupid animation! <laughs> ah, feels bad. It is what it is, though. It happens. This just goes to show, guys, that even YouTubers mess up great ones. So don't feel bad if you've messed one up. If I didn't already have, like, a lot of great one whitetail, and same with, like, a lot of big racks, I'd probably be pretty upset. I'm still upset, but not much I can do at that point. I should have just waited to take that shot. I should have waited until he fully had his head down and then took the shot. Looks the same in the lodge? Yeah, you're right, it does. It's a great one. They look the same in the lodge. Yes, of course I'll count it to the great one count because it's still a great one. It's a great one regardless of uh, whether or not we got full score on it. Puff cough CJO. Yeah, I pulled a CJO. We're just going to call it that from now on. Pulling a CJO. Feels bad. Oh, well. You know, this is the karma I get for that time where I messed up the great one moose and reset the game. This is karma for that moment. I still regret doing that. I still regret doing that, but this was the karma. This was the karma for that moment. Rest in peace. It is what it is, though. That is the risk of doing a bow shot, especially when they're uh, mid-animation. Gosh, that was close to max weight, too. Well, at least it wasn't super high or low scoring for this rack. I've had, I think this is my fourth 635, so it doesn't sting as bad as it would have. But it still stings. This is why I don't use bows. I know, right, Johnny? I'm not a bow person either. I don't really like using bows too much, but figured we would try it. Yeah, I wish it would say diamond instead of gold as well when you mess them up. But it is what it is. Now my bear will spawn? Uh, maybe. Could you imagine, like, the consolation prize is we get a great one bear? Now use the bow on a great one bear? No. 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 <laughs> Jeez. Just so sad. However, I guess if it's any consolation, if it hadn't bent down, it would have been right on the money. Like, that would have been a beautiful shot if he hadn't bent over. Oh, well. It is what it is. Nothing we can do to change it. Like I said, it's probably just karma for the moose situation. If you guys aren't familiar with that, a while back, it was our second Great One Moose. Um... I messed up the shot with the bow, and I, I looked at my chat, and I was like, oh, gosh, what do we do, guys? And I saw everybody spamming main menu, main menu, main menu, main menu, and I just I just didn't even think. I just clicked main menu, and I kind of regretted it ever since I did that, and I guess this was the karma. It was delayed karma, but it hit us. The karma hit us. We messed up a great one. Well, at least I went this long without that happening. I'll take that. You guys guessed it though, it's bear time. We gotta we gotta make up for that. I I cannot live with that. We got to uh we gotta get a bear great one now. To make the pain go away. <laughs> uh 
take the pain away. I need to uh, take a quick lunch break, though, or dinner break at this point. Yeah, I guess it's a dinner break. Well, I will be back, guys, and then we'll do like an hour and a half of uh, bear grinding. So I'll be back in like 25 minutes.
Hello. I'm back. I am back. Hunters, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And how's it going, Tony? Welcome, welcome. You missed me messing up a great one. <laughs> you missed me mess up a great one. It was a sad moment. It was a very sad moment. That's the first whitetail great one I've ever messed up. Your sadness. But... At least it wasn't like a rack I didn't have. At least it was the big rack. <laughs> oh, you did see it? Got you. Yeah. I just... I probably should have waited till I knew for a fact he wouldn't move his head. The second he ducked down, I should have just like stopped. But I guess to be fair, when you're in the moment, you don't really see that type of stuff. I didn't realize it till I had already took the shot. After I took the shot, I was like, oh gosh, he was putting his head down. I hope we're okay. Yeah, exactly, Nicholas. At least it wasn't the typical rack. At least it was the big rack. It still sucks to mess any great one up, but... If there was any rack that I would choose to be one that I would have to mess up, I would say it's either big rack or cluster, like... And it just happened to be a big rack. Still sad regardless, though. Oh, we still got the perks. Oh, gosh, we still got the perks. We gotta, we gotta change that. Um... Archery, reset. Now back into shotguns. Um, we need... Boom, recoil management back. There we go. Okay, we're back to normal. Yeah, pretty much, Nicholas, pretty much. If I ever mess up a typical rack, I, I'll probably never play again. But I mean, let's be honest, I'm not going to get that chance. I'm not going to get a chance to mess up a typical because they don't spawn for me. Maybe I'll be luckier with Fallow Deer. Like maybe with Fallow Deer, I'll get the rack that I want really quickly. Because like with Moose, I still don't have a typical rack. Whitetail, I still don't have the typical rack. Bears, I don't have any of them. It seems like whatever antler type I set is my favorite, I never get it. Red Deer is the only exception. I got all the Red Deer racks pretty quickly. Uh, don't worry about it, Crosscare. Don't worry about it. It's in the past. If you say you've changed, we'll give you another chance. Hunters, thank you so much for the super chat. Do you remember me from earlier? Of course I do. Of course I remember you. You were coming through with a bunch of uh, big super chats. I do indeed remember you. 8,113 kills. I'm getting tired of these oh, bears. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh we need more furs for Great One, Whitetail, and Red Deer. I agree. We definitely do. I would love to see more fur types for them. It would be a dream come true, man. Hey, Dame, how's it going? Thank you, Night Wonder. What maps are going to get reset? So it's not going to be full maps. It's just going to be specific species. Pretty much, Lucan. To be honest, like... The bear grind as a whole makes me more sad than uh, messing up that great one because the, I just I can't do it these bears man they're just they're bears you running over here bruh thank you for like walking right to me that was very helpful and nice of you 
What happened with the great one? It put its head down as I shot, and I ended up spining it with the bow. Unfortunately. Honestly, I feel like that's the most common way that I see great ones getting messed up, is they put their head down, which moves their back downwards a little bit, and you end up hitting spine. That's what happened to us. We were trying a uh, really special bow shot using some of the perks that not a lot of people ever use. Where it allows you to shoot the bow while you're prone. Like it allows you to aim your bow while you're prone. So we were trying that and it didn't go well. It did not go well at all. I took the shot and then the second I let go of the arrow, he put his head down. And the rest is history. Rest in pieces to his spine. Feels bad, man. What happened? Okay, I already read that. Yeah, that's the way to do it, Reflex. That's the way to do it, man. I'm gonna need some blaring music after... after this stream. <laughs> it's the only way I survive bears and screwing up a great one. How many great ones in total do I have? Uh, 38 in total. Most of them are white-tailed deer. There's the third one. Level seven. Okay, later, Redux. Hope everything goes well for you, man. Ah, uh, Gear, thank you so much for the super chat. Holy absolute legend coming in with the $20 super chat. Love all your videos, Crow. Looking forward to your Emerald Coast pre-release content. Me and my son are huge fans of you from Arctic Norway. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome to hear. That is super awesome to hear. I'm so excited to be able to show things off to you guys tomorrow. I am just absolutely elated for early access. It's going to be so much fun. Thank you for the super chat once again. Thank you so much. Come on, little bears, be good for me. Do you get DLC maps free? Uh, everybody has to pay for DLC maps. DLC maps will always be paid. I don't think they plan on doing any free ones. How do you get early access? So early access is for EW content creators only, so you have to be a part of EW's partner program. And then when you're part of that program and have met all the requirements, then you can do, uh, then you can be part of the early access. Nice. 8,120 kills. Oof. Yikes. Hunters, thank you for the super chat again. Hope you're doing great. Absolute legend with all these super chats. I meant to get them for free since you get early access. Uh, yeah, because in order to play on it, we have to own the map, right? So, we would have to own the map in order to play on it. I think it's just like the maps that we get though. Because if I'm remembering right, I think I had to pay for all of the like skin packs that have been released. What's my biggest mule deer? I think like 341 if I'm not mistaken. I know it's a big one. We're gonna do our best, Dame. We're gonna do our best. Holy gear with the five gifted memberships. Holy. 
Thank you so much. Five gifted for everybody in chat. Congrats to Stormmaster, Snotty Outdoors, Owen, Proscare, and Peaceful Pug. You guys are all members now. Congrats, congrats, congrats. There we go. Another bear bites the dust. Oh no, Mr. Racco Raccoon, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's unfortunate, man. Better get them on. Maybe next time you'll end up getting one. I see you in the chat a decent bit, so I'd say you got a chance. Apparently, Johnny. <laughs> or maybe you just got unlucky. It could just be that, too. Could just be unlucky. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, Jace, I remember you. Thank you, Amanda. At least 500 kills into my Diamond Seeker grind. One troll, no rares. Unfortunate, dude. You gotta be close. You gotta be close. You're definitely way above the average for getting a diamond. Hope for the bighorn sheep in Mexico getting reworked. Their horns are red, but I wish for bighorn sheep model to be redone. I think they need a rework as well. I think they need a rework for sure. What the? Did our dog just bark? Or am I tripping? I swear I just heard the dog bark. Five, seven, six. Excuse me, Mr. Bear. Please take thine bullet. Thank you. Hunters, thank you so much for the super chat again. Once again, really appreciate it. Absolute legend with the generosity over here. I don't know what to say at this point. I don't know what to say at this point. Yeah, yeah, we did get, uh, we did shoot the great one. We spined it. <laughs> I took the shot and it lowered its head as the arrow was flying to it. Or maybe it started lowering its head as I shot. To be honest, it was such an in-the-moment type of thing. I don't remember exactly, but the point is it lowered its head as we shot. And so now we've got a messed up great one. But I mean, it's going to look exactly the same in the lodge, so it is what it is. And if, if there was going to be a great one I messed up, I guess that's the one that I would have wanted it to be because we've already got a few big rack white tail. Still unfortunate, though. Yeah, bro, bro, it lowered its head as I shot. <laughs> so we messed up our first great one. The first great one with a gold symbol in the lodge. Pain. Just pain. But you know, it is what it is. I'd rather it be that than a fallow deer or a bear. Or a moose, so... Rather be a rather be that than a fallow deer or a bear. I mean, at that point, I should just let Brober shoot at it. Would have had the same chance of being a great one instead of a gold. <laughs> oh man! Just put him in the far back of the lodge. Hey, that's what I'm saying. We'll just put him in the back. Queen Lightheart, thank you for the seven months. Much appreciated. And Johan, thank you for the uh, super chat as well. Did I miss anything good? Yeah, we messed up a great one, Johan. We messed up a great one. Sadly, messed up a great one, Whitetail. It's alright, it's a great one. Yeah, that's the way I see it too. It's the same thing regardless. It's still a great one, but just unfortunate. Because I had always done really good with the Whitetail in getting like uh, good shots on them. I mean, we've done some wild stuff with our Whitetail and still not messed one up until today. I think I was probably due for one with all the stupid, uh, risky kills I've done on Whitetail. I mean, 
We've literally hip fired a whitetail from like one meter with the Rolleston before. At this point, I was bound to mess something up. I'm surprised it just didn't happen sooner. <laughs> oh, gotcha, Brober. Gotcha. So now you're going to be like a, a, a giant slayer. I've, I live in the U.S. Uh, there's some bugginess happening with the codex, uh, Jamie. It's been that way for a while. Most people's codexes are a little bit weird. Uh, there's just been so many bugs with the codex in the past that... Pretty much everybody has like an incorrect diamond or great one count or stuff like that. Been quite a few updates that have been buggy with the codex. Like for me, the codex I said the codex says I have like 60 great ones, but I have 38. It also says I have like a hundred more diamonds than I actually do. There's just been a lot of weirdness going on throughout the history of Call of the Wild with the Codex. Which is why a lot of people don't even use it to track their uh, stats anymore. Ooh, double mythicals. I somehow missed the first shot, but I got him in the end. You have 10 great ones and it says you have eight. Yeah, that's also a bug that happens um, with moose. Moose don't show up in the codex sometimes. I don't know if it's been fixed with the moose. It might have been fixed by now. I can't remember. Dude, die already, you silly bear. Twenty-two fifteen. What do we got here? We got a twenty-one forty-four. Hunters, thank you for the super chat once again. What's your favorite map? My favorite map is probably Rev on Tuli Coast. Diablo would be my second favorite, and then Silver Ridge is my third. Double eights. Yeah, mythical sounds better. Exactly, Johnny. That's what I've been saying. You can't just call them eights. You gotta say mythicals. Because, yeah, it doesn't sound the same. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mythical legendary. You know, we gotta. That's the way you gotta do it. It's the way that makes sense in the mind of a uh, Call of the Wild player. That's just how you count if you play Call of the Wild. Like, you don't count to 10 like people normally would. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Mythical Legendary Fabled. Or Mythical Legendary Great One, to be honest. People don't even call them Fabled. We call them Great Ones. And this has been how to uh, count to 10. Call of the Wild style. Hey, Tyler, how's it going? Is Emerald Coast, uh, where did that go? Is Emerald Coast going to be your new favorite map? It's hard to say yet, Ronald. It's hard to say. I usually don't decide until the map has been released for like a few weeks. That way I can really get a feel for it. So most likely in a few weeks I'll know. Uh, tomorrow, Lou. Tomorrow I'll be able to. Uh, no, we don't get to keep the progress from the map. Early access progress will not save into the live build. Uh, the new map will be the same price as always, Hayden. Same as all the other maps. What number comes after seven? Ithical. Exactly. 
Exactly, man. That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. Uh, no, Oklahoma. In fact, I'm going to keep the meme going on longer then. How about that? We're actually just going to discuss um, each of the numbers. How about that? I think you're the one that needs to chill. If I don't see you chilling, we're going to continue the conversation. You know, I wonder where we actually started that. Like, where did that even start? When did we start calling them mythicals instead of eights? Like, I feel like we've always called nines legendaries. I feel like clear back to the beginning of even knowing what a legendary was, we always called them legendaries. Have mythicals always been mythicals since the beginning too? Because I didn't watch a lot of Call of the Wild content in the early days of Call of the Wild. Hello? Mr. Bear, come back. Wow, you're just a five. You're halfway to a great one. That's a joke we haven't heard in, like, a day. Gotta get that joke in every time we see a five. Where's the best spot to hunt bears? They are across the entire map on Silver Ridge Peaks. I wouldn't say there is a best uh, best location. It's kind of just wherever they, they tend to be mainly for you. It's tough to pinpoint them. Why is six scared of seven? Uh, cause seven, eight, nine. I've seen that joke so many times. That's gotta be one of the jokes I've seen the most throughout my life. How many lakes slash zones should I set up on for Whitetail on Rev on Thule? Um, around 10 is usually solid, but it depends on how many bucks are in that, uh, 10 zones. The thing is you want to at least 20 shootable bucks between all your zones uh, that way you can make sure you're getting enough of them to get reliable respawns because it seems that if you've got it seems like if you've got less than 20 like if you're killing if you're killing sub let, let's say you kill less than 10 whitetail in a run and from my experience respawns are less reliable if you kill uh less than 10 of them or yeah less than 10 of them per run so I always try to kill at least 10. And in most cases, I like to kill 15 or more. So as long as you're able to kill like 15 or so whitetail per run, then that's how many zones you would want. It's not really a matter of just the zone count, but the amount of deer that are in the zones. Um, Orlando, thank you for the super chat, dude. Had a diamond feral goat this week and last week. It wasn't a diamond mountain hare. It was a diamond euro rabbit. And also got a 230 plus diamond plains bison. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congrats. That is super cool. Ooh, that was a big mythical. That was a big boy mythical. You know, if keyboard and mouse will ever come to console on the hunter, I have no clue, actually. I don't know if that's something they intend to add. Not sure. 
Um, I haven't seen that happen, uh, happening hunting guy one, two, three. I would probably, uh, report that bug to hunter support. I don't know. I'm not really too familiar with like lodge crashes because I haven't had a lodge crash in ages. I'm curious, maybe there maybe there's some console specific ones. But I haven't ran into any type of crashing recently. Why do I hate the Great One Black Bear grind? Because I'm 8,137 kills into it. And it's at nighttime. And I only have five bears on my entire map that show up to their drink zone within like a couple minutes of me resetting the time. Literally every other zone, they don't get there till the last like 30 minutes of their drink time. And it's like such a waste of time to hunt black bear unless you get a couple zones that are reliable like I have. And to be honest, just the 8100 kills with no great one does it for me. I can't stand these things. I want to try to do a fallow grind, but I've never done a grind for anything before. Do you have any grinding tips? Um, yeah. So for fallow deer, it's going to be a pretty easy grind because they're very condensed in their locations on Tiavaroa. You go to Tiavaroa to hunt them. You're going to have very limited places you have to search to find them all. They're pretty much just on the right, like, third of the map. Just pick like 10 zones or so that you want to set tents up on and just start shooting all the bucks in them if you want to go that route. Um, if you want to do herd management, just shoot everything but twos and uh, ones. Pretty much any of the guides that I've released in the past for grinding can be applied to most species. It's the same general principle, just obviously a different species with different, like, locations you have to look. But a lot of it's the same, like, the same things that you have to do. I also have a guide that I made with Lady Legend. Where we went over all of the different tips that you can use for any grind that you're starting, regardless of what it may be. That would also be an, a, a good option to go with for... Learning how to grind. Orlando, thank you for the super chat again. Also got two diamond fallow deer, one, two, sixty-three, and two sixty-six. Nice, dude. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, it happens, Paters. It happens. It is what it is. It was bound to happen eventually with the amount of great one grinding I do. Just like with diamonds too, like if if you if you shoot enough diamonds, eventually you're gonna mess a few up. It was just a matter of time before we uh, had an unfortunate situation unfold. I mean, it's called wild at the end of the day. There, there's so many different times where I've had a call the wild moment happen where it's like, oh man, I don't I I didn't know it could be like that, move that quickly in that animation and things like that. Yeah, we messed up a great one, Kaylee. We had a big rack whitetail spawn, and I took a shot with the bow from 40 meters while I was prone, and the buck put its head down to drink right as I clicked the uh, left mouse to shoot. Right as I clicked to shoot, it puts its head down and we spine it. It was rough. At first, we thought we nailed it. Because it dropped on the spot, but then we got up there and it was like, okay, that's not enough blood. Yes, it was another big rack. It was another big rack. So I'm not too heartbroken. I mean, I'm, I'm probably more sad at the fact that we messed up a great one than I am that particular great one. Because we've already got like five or six big racks before him, so... If if I was going to mess up any great one, that would that would have been the one that I would have wanted to mess up. Like, if somebody walked up to me and they were like, you have to mess up a great one. Choo choose one of them. I would have been like, ah, either a big rack or cluster rack whitetail. 
I would have been really sad if it was like a typical rack or if it was like a drop tine rack or a bear or a moose or a, uh, what's it called? If it was a fallow, I would have been so much more sad if it was something like that. It's still really sad though. It's still so sad. Really? You're just gonna like be behind a tree or something? How dare you? Orlando, thank you for the super chat once again. Come on, great one bear, show up already. Stop torching crow with this grind. Hey, that's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. Come on. Give us the, the chonky bear. We need the chonka bear. What's the kill count? 8,139. What's my favorite great one bear fur type? I would say my favorite is the chestnut. Second favorite is probably the spirit. Uh, third favorite would have to be fabled cream. Fourth would be the spotted. And then fifth would be the ghost mask glacier. And sixth would be the other glacier. Am I streaming Australia tomorrow? Yes, I will be. There will be an Australia stream tomorrow, indeed. There we go. Yeah, still no typical rack somehow. I, I don't get it. Our luck has been so bad with that rack. For uh, Whitetail and Moose. I haven't got it for the Moose either. Playman, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. There's no chance you can get 40 grams for the update. If you get the bear, then an early access. Or wait, there is a chance you could get 40 great ones before the update. If you get the bear and then an early access fallow. True, true. Always possible. We'll have to see, though. Orlando, thank you so much for the... Uh, Super chat once again. Flinter did a good job with the Banting vid. He did. He did. For sure. I was pretty happy with how everything turned out for all of us. And I think it was a massive success from what I've seen as well. It seemed like everybody was really happy to see like content creators being a part of the hype up. Which is awesome. It's great to see. Yeah, you and your red deer, Johnny. You got so many red deer great ones. Yeah, for sure, Mr. Lazy. For sure. Is the whitetail drop tie rack rare? Uh, it's one of the more rare ones. Rarest is definitely the typical rack. I'd say second rarest is probably the short rack. Third rarest would be drop tie. Fourth would be the Kinsko slash bladed rack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, then I'd say big rack is probably, or uh, cluster rack is the most common. Big rack is the second most common. Six and a five. Oof. Feels bad. You know, someday, someday we'll see a 10. Someday we'll see 10 fabled while we're hunting black bear. There we go. Maybe, Draco. I hope so. I hope today's the day. Sure would be nice, man. Sure would be nice. There we go.
Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> I feel like you'll get it. I mean, you've had crazy luck with red deer, so I'm sure you'll get it. Hopefully, Noah. I hope so, man. It's been brutal. This grind has been a grind unlike any other for me. Orlando, thank you for the uh, super chat again. I feel like they need to make crocodiles a three-shot animal because look how big it is. Two shots from the seven millimeter is not going to do it. Maybe the 300 or 338. Yeah, I think 338 or 300 is what you'll have to use probably from what Jaxie showed off. Um, If you didn't hear it though, last uh, EW stream, Jaxie mentioned that they will no longer sink to the bottom when they go in water. They will float to the top and float over to you. So I think it's going to be fine. Uh, to just take two shots. I don't think we'll need more than two because of that. Honestly, it's, I think that's one of the more big, like, little tweaks they've done. Is just making it so the gators don't sink. Or I guess crocodiles. I don't know if it's the same for gators. I would imagine it would have to be, right? But either way. It's going to be huge. It's going to make them so much more fun to hunt. Yeah, pretty much, Zachy. It is what it is. It was bound to happen. One of the reasons I don't like using bows, like the time it takes from the air from the arrow leaving your bow to hitting the animal, like stuff can happen in a split second to make it so you mess things up. If I was using a rifle there, never would have happened. But I mean, I guess that's the challenge of the bow, right? That's what makes the bow a huge rush. What was my latest great one in Super Rare? Latest great one was the Big Rack Whitetail we got earlier in the stream. Uh, latest Super Rare was a Melanistic Whitetail from a few weeks ago. Close to a month ago at this point, I think. Thank you for the super chat again, though. Absolute legend over here. Just, just absolutely slapping us with those super chats. What map will I grind for Great One Fallow? I'm probably going to grind uh, Tiawaroa just because it's a gold mine for Fallow Deer. I feel like there's no way any map can ever be Tiawaroa for Fallow. Now that's just ridiculous, Zachy. How does that even work? <laughs> How do you even do that without like screwing it up no I didn't get the great one bear yet I mean who, who do you think I am I'm <laughs> you actually think scarecrow would have a great one bear Psh. that's all myths scarecrow would never be able to get a bear yeah probably Zachy did he like Provide, like, proof that that even happened? That seems wild to me. 240 meters with a recurve on a great one. That's just crazy. That is crazy. He did? Gotcha. That's wild. Crazy. Had a vid in the harvest screen, said it? Jeez. Did he actually take a vid of the shot, though? Because I'd love to see that shot. Oh, could you imagine, Raid? <laughs> could you imagine if, like, this whole time the bear just couldn't spawn? That'd be so bad. I'd cry a little bit. I'd be crying inside, man. Uh, 
Um, brain and neck can be shot at a sea eagle. Brain and neck are the most reliable and best ways to shoot the gators. Come on, Mr. Bear. It's a four, of course. Ay, ay, ay. How long is my video tomorrow? Uh, 58 minutes. It's going to be a long one. So buckle in for 58 minutes of early access footage. Premiering tomorrow. Well, not it, it won't be a premiere, but you know what I mean. It'll go live tomorrow. Going to be a long video. I just, I couldn't make it any shorter. I wanted to include everything. Couldn't make it an hour flat? No, I wanted to keep it under an hour. Just so I could say it was under an hour. I managed to do that at least. I kept it under an hour. <laughs> yes, it will be coming out before the stream. The stream is going to be an hour after the video comes out. That way you guys have time to watch the full video before the stream. If you, uh, if, if anybody can survive 58 minutes of one, one video. <laughs> got your first Mela. Nice, Xavier. That's awesome. How much longer will I stream for? A uh, little bit less than an hour because uh, today's video goes live in exactly 42 minutes. So we will be live for probably 40 minutes or so. Maybe a little bit less. 30 to 40 minutes is how long we'll be live. And then the video will be up. I mean, I don't get to persuade the devs to add anything to the game, Isaac. Me, like, saying that I want something isn't going to make it happen. I don't really have any pull in terms of, like, what gets added to the game, you know? I'm just a content creator that makes videos on their game. Uh, just a few animals, Tokyo. Not a lot of them. Only a few will. Stuff like the, um... Red deer, because they're getting a uh, fur rework. Basically, just the stuff that's getting reworks will reset. Any great ones yet? Yeah, we got a great one white-tailed deer earlier, R53, and we messed it up. Because, you know, of course we would. We messed it up. Oh my gosh. Where are you from, bro? Where was that guy from? No, it's not possible, Norman. Not with my grind, it's not possible. It couldn't be in another zone. Not this time. We were thorough with the map before we went to two zones. There he is. No, Alex, I will not. I've already said that I'm using 338 or 300 on the bear. I really only start using like bows and stuff after I've got a few of the species.
Yeah, I'm kind of surprised as well, Mr. Lazy. That did kind of surprise me as well. Ah, it's the end of their time. Yes, Brendan, it will. It will get reset. Ah, we're 8,157 kills into the grind, Garrett. Too many kills, man. Too many kills. I know, right, Johnny? R.I.P. How many kills was the Great One Whitetail? It was 825. One of our lower kill counts as of recent. I don't know, R53. I don't know, man. Probably because I've shot so many of them. I mean, if I was a bear, I wouldn't like me either. No, Jackson. The Rev on Tuli Great Ones will not be resetting. It's just Red Deer that'll reset in terms of Great Ones. Great One Red Deer is the only grind that will uh, reset. All the other grinds for other great ones will be fine. Yeah, true, Johnny, true. Does give you opportunities to find some rares. Uh, yes, Blake, you will have to find your zones again because every time you get a new population of animals, right, they choose different zones sometimes. So depending on how many, like, different places they choose, you, you'll probably have to find a lot of your zones. Some of them probably will be the same, but then you'll probably have some new ones you gotta find. Uh, yeah, the Fabled Chestnut Cats rule, but at this point, I kind of just want any of them. <laughs> I'm so deep into this grind that I'll take whatever I get. USS Pizza, thank you so much for the super chat. Gonna head out, Crow, see you tomorrow. Later, dude. Thank you for dropping by. Appreciate the support, as always. Hope you're doing amazing. How long have I grinded for? For the bear? Like, a year. Probably a little more than a year. It's my longest grind I've ever done. It's been a very long time, man. Oh, gosh. Only bears make me yawn that much. Only bears could do that to me. Nice, J-Dog, nice.
What do we got here? Elk. Okay. And that's a bear. Small male. What's the sign you're getting close to a great one? Uh, there is no signs for getting close to a great one. Yay, yay. <laughs> Later, Bentley. Thank you for dropping in. There we go. There we go. Okay. We're going to go ahead and end the stream there. I can't take any more bears, man. Stay tuned for tonight's video. 30 minutes from now, we're going to be posting the daily video. And uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we will be uploading the very first Early Access Australia video. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be good. But until then, we'll have a video happening in 30 minutes. So thank you all for being here. And I will see you all. In the next one, peace.